you're the first one to go experience certain things with I these women. To go on um, but yeah, I, I, yeah, that's something that like. Um, but I also want to know, like, when you go on those girls' trips, like, if something happened and your one of your girlfriends was, um, you know, in a relationship, would you go and tell her boyfriend, like, hey, oh, no. um, you're you're like like my homegirl was fucking, you know, no, she she, she cheated on you. I'm business. sorry. Not, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. And um, I hang out with the same group of girls where. It's either I'm hanging out with girls who are single or girls who are in a relationship, depending on what I am at the time. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're really good I, about not, you know, birds yeah. of a flutter flock together. You're not going to go hang out with the hoes. With the, yeah. So, but I got, now this goes into a new question then. So if you went out on a trip with a bunch of girls that are all married or in a relationship, do you think that any of them would cheat or you just, you think none of your friends would do something like that? I think none of my friends would do anything like that, honestly. Mm. So I'm very picky about the men they want. So if, like, if you have high standards, you're not going to do anything rebellious to mess up what you want like, well at the end of the day like it, nobody ever really finds out and here's the thing like uh like shit happens like like there, there, there's a there's a foam can party in cancun there's a hot guy he's six four he's chiseled big abs like he was hot i was drunk one thing led to another shit can happen okay and then like we were talking about 14 days after y'all's period you're you're feeling something okay <laughs> so like sometimes just timing happens like i'm not saying that women plan this shit out or anything mm -hmm. But I'm saying sometimes shit does happen and a man should never be shamed for having boundaries in his relationship. So I never think that a guy should be in a relationship and be like, hey, babe, you can't go on your girls trips anymore. That's fucking stupid. Yeah. Now, if he starts a relationship, though, and he said and he holds frame and he says, look, if you want to come and be in the relationship with me, this is uh, this is one of my boundaries. You're not going to do shit like this. And she can step into that if she so chooses or if she steps out of it, she's stepping out of the relationship. You know, and like, so yeah, I'm not sitting here saying that guys should all just put these type of things up because, and most guys can't have these type of boundaries. Most guys, they, they don't have the, uh, provisioning. They're just not really masculine enough. They just, they're dorks or they're just betas and yeah. they'll let their woman do anything. And I actually think that a woman's more likely to disrespect, disrespect their man if he's not trying to protect her. I think a woman actually likes it when the man, like a real woman that's really in love with a guy, like she wants to go on vacation with her man. She doesn't yeah. want to go with the girls. Like I've gone on, I've gone on vacations with a guy that I dated. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I definitely think that's just, but yeah, that's the big thing that everybody disagrees with me about all the time. But what did you have to say about it though? Um, about the girl. Well, so this is yeah, me. yeah. Just defend it a little bit. This is mm -hmm. me. I'm not really gonna defend it because when my friends tell me they want to go to Hawaii or if they just want to go anywhere tropical where I feel like I need to be in dig down, I don't want to go with females. Like I just don't like because that's what makes it fun. Is the dick down part? Yeah, like, I want to be with my man. Like, if we're going to Paris, and stuff, I want to be with my man. Like, unless we're going for your wedding or something, I don't want to go with you. Like, I'll go to Vegas, I'll go to Miami with you, or whatever the case may be. But my all my friends know I don't want to be going uh, out of the country with them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's honest, Jeff. What about anybody else that had any disagreements with that? Did you? Um, so I've only ever been on girls' trips. I've never been on a vacation before, and like I've not even flown out. No. Oh. Um, but me and my friends, we went to Jamaica in August and like, I went with two friends that were in relationships, but it's like, you know, I wanted to be a hot girl and they didn't, but they weren't like, discouraging. Keep it on the street. <laughs> uh, they weren't like discouraging or anything. It's like, it's like you're in a relationship and I'm single. So it's like, you can't discredit like what I want to do because you got a boyfriend. Yeah. No, I, it's, it, I mean, don't get me wrong. Sometimes there's, there are good groups of friends, but I, I like to think in today's world, most people are fucked up. That's just my personal opinion. Like I, I did, I posted a, a story the other day that um, uh, shout shout to Rico Hundo, and he was saying that he thinks like uh, one in, or like twenty percent of people are good people. So like when y'all get out of a relationship with a good person, y'all are like searching for another person that's up in that top twenty percent. But then you're dealing with all this trash. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And uh, but I, I honestly think that that number is ten percent. I've never thought it was twenty. I've I've been saying this for a decade. I've always thought only ten percent of people are even worth it. So like that. It's, it's very hard to even just find a good person today. I want to know what's your opinion <laughs> as a married man on the girls trips and stuff like that. Because I know as you get older, when you're married, I, I mean, I don't think that that's something I'm going to hold my whole life. Like if I was married and I was older, I don't think that I would still have those opinions about girls and stuff like that. Like, so how does it work for you in your marriage? Man, <clears throat> every man finds you a woman who don't, she don't even want to go out with her friends. She want to go out with you. If you find a woman, she don't want to be with her girlfriend. She don't want to take trips. She like to go out, but she want to experience that with you. That's the girl you need to be with. And the reason why is that nobody got time to be arguing with no oh, no girl. We ain't got no time to be arguing about that. Mm -hmm. So find you a woman that like going out with you, experiencing new stuff with you. And I think if you do that, I think that's fine. It makes I, a better relationship. Too. I, I like what they said. I forgot who said it. You got good friends in relationships that 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 re mm -hmm. that they're respectful. Mm 
Mm-hmm. As long as you got friends, again, I think, I think, I think it's a lot of cap. You know, I think it's a lot of women that y'all probably think wouldn't do it. Probably actually are, but having a good, solid group of friends, women friends, it does make a difference. So as long as yes. you got that, I think you're good. But me, get you a woman that likes to go out with you. I think it makes things easier. Mm-hmm. Can you have a guy friend in a relationship? Mm. That's uh, so tricky. Yeah, yeah, that's a good thing to actually bring up. No, let's, let, let, let's go around. That was a great okay. question. That was a great question. What do y'all think? Do you think that you can have a guy friend in your relationship? You're in a serious relationship too. Like you really love the guy that you're with. Um, if you guys were friends before the relationship, friends before. What about you? All my all my friends are guys, and they always tell me if I was that girlfriend. I wouldn't have no guy friends. They, so like, they, I, they yeah, would they make was you like, get it off. They wouldn't allow that. So they be telling me I ain't going to find no man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Um, this is my thing. So if I knew I was fucking this person that became my friend, then no, he would have to get canceled because I will, you know, I wouldn't want to even let my man meet that person knowing that at the end of the day, this fool might get drunk or might get mad and be like telling my dude. So no. I just no, I don't think so. Okay, what about you? Mm mm. No. 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 Cause same thing. I'm a lot of people who's supposed to be my friends mm-hmm. throw shots at my man. Like yeah. not shots at my man, but like they would try and they would try and get with me if they had the chance. If I was their girl, they would, you know. So or one thing led to another. You know, they they would do it. I can't even have none. What about you? Mm-hmm. I have two brothers. I have, like, out of my six close, close friends, two of them are female. So, like, most of my friends are guys. And so I have a problem with that, which is why I kind of asked that question. I'm not going to stop being friends with people I grew up with, known 10 plus years, just because he's a guy, you know? It just Uh doesn't make sense to me. And I can understand why some guys do have problems with it, too. Yeah. What do you think? I definitely think with boundaries. Even if I have known these guys for 10 plus years, because I do have friends that I know for a very long time, I'm going to introduce my breathing hard in the mic right now. I'm so listening. I've been wondering the whole time. (laughs) I had to ask. I'm so sorry. Keep going. We all can hear. Um, (laughs) I can introduce my man to my man, to my my guy friends. And I, I want my guy friends to be close to my whoever my man is. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, I, I, well, yeah, go ahead. My friend guys that I meet their girlfriends. Okay. Like I meet all their girlfriends and, but I just don't see no guy like, come on, let me meet my brothers. And these not like my real brothers. They're going to be like, girl, I don't want to meet them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, No, no, not not at all. I don't want to meet them. She's on point. Like, and like, here's the thing. Y'all, this all goes back to the loyalty thing. Like, like the whole, like, it's called mate guarding, okay? So when a guy is like doesn't want you around other men or anything, this is this is what literally animals have been doing for all of evolution. Like yeah. this is. This-